Hi, I'm Katie McClellan from De La Soul Yoga, and this is a video tutorial on Side Crow Parjva Bakasana. So I always instruct my students to stand sideways on the mat. So um, I will turn this mat, actually. So if this is the front of the mat, have your students turn and face, let's say, the left side of the room, halfway on the mat with the feet together. And I always like to joke that now if you glance at the top of your mat, you're officially doing 6% of the full pose. So you could just stay right here and visualize yourself inside crow and breathe, and you would be on your way towards mastering this pose. If you want to take it further, what you do is you start to bend your knees. So it's like a deep chair, uh, chair pose, and I'm going to lift up onto the balls of the feet. My knees still face the left side of the room, but my upper body is going to twist so that I set up downward facing dog hands near the front of the mat. And again, my knees are swiveling to the left, but my chest is twisting to the right. Okay, so I'm trying to keep my chest square to the front of the mat. From here, I'll start to bend the elbows, glide my upper body forward, and I'm going to rest my right knee on my left upper arm and my right hip on my right upper arm. So this might be, you know, this might be where you stop or here, or you might get to here and not quite be able to get this hip to the upper arm. So I would just stay there and work on the twist and work on squaring the chest, okay, and breathing here. If you can get the, the thigh, the, uh, the uh, hip and the knee onto the elbows or the upper arms, then it becomes like a shelf. So then as I tip my weight forward, the feet can lift up. And I'm squeezing my elbows in a little bit towards my belly button. So they're not going out at all. They're not even parallel. They're actually angling in. So I have my hands turned out a little bit. And once the feet lift up, I'm going to keep my gaze forward slightly, work on squaring the chest so that right shoulder comes back, left shoulder comes forward. And if I'm really steady here, I can start to take my left leg, so my top leg, back and my right leg to the side, to the left. And I want to move the legs at the same time so that I can really control the way the weight distribution changes in my hands. And then from here, you can even try swiveling to push up and coming into a vinyasa or simply bringing your legs back together and then setting your feet down on the mat. So that concludes the tutorial of Parjva Bakasana, Side Crow. Namaste.